You ever see the Insta360 GO 3S? Tall little guy, about 54.4 millimeter high, kind of like a slim power bank. Now imagine squishing that down into a perfect 30 by 30 millimeter square. That's the new Go Ultra. Same wearable action cam vibe, but shorter, squarer, and only 53 grams up from 39 grams. Basically light enough to clip to your shirt and forget it's even there. This leak comes from Roland Quant and WinFuture, and it's shaping up to be one of the most interesting tiny cameras we've seen in a while. Oh, and while you're here, tap that subscribe button so you catch the next big leak before it's official. It's one tap way easier than hunting for a lost action cam in a pile of laundry. Now, here's where things get exciting. The Go Ultra isn't just a cute little square. It's got the muscle to shoot 4K at 60 FPS, doubling the frame rate of the Go 3S's 4K 30. Inside, you've got a 1 over 1.28 inch sensor, a brand new ambient light sensor for smarter exposure, flow state stabilization, 360 degree horizon lock, and a 156 degree field of view for those epic wide shots. And yes, the flip up touchscreen module is still here for framing and playback. From the leaked promo shots, Insta360's sticking with the same accessory lineup as the Go 3S, uh, helmet mounts for hands-free POV, a safety cord so you don't drop it mid-action, and that magnetic pendant with a remote for chest mounting without fumbling. Nothing radically new here, but still plenty of ways to strap it, clip it, or wear it. Charging gets a big boost too, 0-80% to in just 10 minutes with faster wired charging. And if the rumors are true, it's rocking a new processor with 50% more CPU power than the Go 3S, which should mean crisper, low-light footage, faster processing, and just an all-around smoother shooting experience. The only mystery? Price and release date. But if these leaks are on the money, the Go Ultra could be the most fun little camera you'll accidentally lose between your couch cushions this year. That's all we've got for now, but the leaks keep coming, and we'll be here to break them down first. Stay tuned, and I'll catch you in the next one.